a uh, variation of their default setup here. We'll see Rain just trying to get as much aggro as possible. He's firing on those shots to suggest he's the only player there. We saw Nico do this yesterday. He's going to be overlooked, and there's the first kill. It all works out, and that's Nico taking down Hunter. Mind game number Straight one. Away. Mind first game number kill. one. That's what we like. Straight away, Nico's managed to shoot him in the back of the head. He had no idea. They're fighting, and oh! what was that rain? So precise at such long range. He's found two. Gets knocked off his perch eventually, but I mean, pfft, Cold's flanking. It's looking pretty good in that regard, as we see Jax plant the C4. Probably won't be winning this round, but they can find a couple more kills on a bit of an island here. He's gonna have to defend from long and short. Jax, probably good for nothing at this point with one HP in spawn, but he does get a lovely oh. headshot across over There could be something to be said about this one now. All Kenny has to do is hit one of these pot shots, and he's still struggling. Nico will eventually finish him, and Jax, one HP. There should absolutely not be anything left for him to say. A single bullet. Brokey can't hit it. What? Oh, and Nico could go down as well. It's so <laughs> sketchy. Wait, they're, they're not defusing yet. No, Hold no, on. no. Kit's on Nico. Okay. He's got it. I was panicking. Noticed yesterday versus Stralis a lot. He was... Oh, there it is. Through the smoke. Okay, well... Uh... Anyway, we won't, worry about, we'll, we won't worry about what I was uh, getting into. We'll wait until that comes on in because Kenny... He wants to strafe down. He loves this move. Sinks up perfectly with the flash for the leg break. He's covered a lot of ground and he catches Rain by surprise. The flashes are good. There's a second to get him out. Long and long range. The spray connects. Nico caught out in the G2. This is looking very promising. Brokey though, he got a double kill and Nexa shuts that down. There was a window of opportunity. Brokey gets both those kills. He might be able to win the round. So it's the incendiary that will slow down the plan, but still slowing things right down, going into the A drop. And as Alex pointed out, it's Jax managing to get down undetected, gets that first kill, then a double. Walking up though. Oh, it doesn't look good, Alex. Oh, I've got a real sinking feeling that they're gonna walk into the phase. Four spy machine. This looks like Nexus managed to deal with the main body. It will be Rain's Deagle to do damage and look at the precise shots. Just into the rib cage and another body drops. It's all Damn. onto Amanek. They've done enough. Yeah, and he's already been tagged on phase clan. Right back on track. Winning their partial investment. Well, how many more of those they'll be grabbing here? And Amanek, he's burning. He's hanging around and he's even pushing on out. He gets a kill, but instantly traded. If they can lock down that AWP, this is fantastic for phase. It really is, but it looks like it has been retrieved. Hunter up short rather quick. He could try and punish Nico. He knows there's a scout down there. Nico unaware. Spots him now. And this is the first shot. Hunter will strike on him there. That's a really nice bit of scout mastery there. We're going to see just two players survive. Nexa and Kenny. They still have the AWP, so some oh. damage can be done. But he this is just that. brilliant from Nico. He hit the shot through Nexa into the head of Kenny. Jack's POV right now, and down he goes. Cold Zera announces his presence, and well, there it is. The second kill will be delivered as well. Nico providing that covering fire towards top of middle. Well, they're going to go through middle, and I dare say they'll be out of luck here. That's Cold Zera finding his third frag, and maybe on for the fourth. No armor for Hunter, and he's dealt with in due course. Six to one, phase plan. Consider lit, Henry. Exactly. So, AWP oh. from Nico oh, just yeah. looks devastating oh, tonight. Yeah. The precision. The confidence. That was a headshot and it looked like perfect. Yeah. Instead, as they start to pivot middle, so does he. Ready for the fight. Nico missing his shots, but Cold doesn't. Him and Brokey keeping him out on arm's reach. Look at that. A double kill again from Cold Zera. The oh. flash is so perfect. He does it himself, collecting another triple kill back to back. He positions himself with the M4A4 Whoa. with a Deagle. That's much nicer. That's going to be the opening kill now. And they're actually making their moves towards the A site. Tech 9, still That's an amazing the bomb, shot the bomb's from down. Nico. Oh How does he keep God. hitting those? They're going to throw it up. Respect to Hunter. That will enable the plant. Nico, though, is not missing much. Vision or otherwise. And he's posted up to catch Nexo. And he does hit it. God, he's looking deadly. Hunter's in trouble. Oh, okay. And Nico hits everything. On for the ace, boys. On for the ace. Brokey will take it. But my God. They evade it nicely. He gets the jewel he was They're waiting pushing. for, but no flash. And now Brokey pushing straight in. Oh, the patience is rewarded. Amanek, he bided his time and now has full control of the B site. The bomb's going back through T spawn. Hunter wants to lock him down. Rain's taking that smoke as an invitation. Wants to play around it. There's two of them heading up short. Two going to be dropping that oh. bomb off with Amanek. And now Rain's been caught. This is all G2. Nico just looking to preserve his AWP. We know what he's capable of with it, but he's got so much cash. And uh, that's going to be an interesting battle. Nice move from Nico. Doesn't quite hit that one. Probably the first AWP shot he's missed, to be honest with you. Is that a website? If, I've heard of it. If they kill Cold Zero, they can get into B for free here. 
Oh, you're absolutely bang on. It will be Brokey to contest, but if he misses this shot, he does not. Two remaining, Kenny and Hunter. They still can get into this side, but Brokey has the audacity to take that fight, and he hits the first two, but so does Hunter. He's found two, a one versus four, bomb on his back and two more to find. He's got a smoke for the doors. A player that's had his number on every single one-on-one -on -one duel. They're both coming for the tunnels right now. Hunter with no grenades, but he has heard both of them there. There were a couple of sets of footsteps and he's ready and waiting. They're gonna clear this together. Surely one high, one low. Nico doesn't adjust in time. Where's Olof? He asked himself, but he's found them both. A one versus four from Hunter. He finally finds his footing down on the box and then the second to enable a perfect wall of smokes. Cold to be tested first, he only gets the one. Nexa and Kenny have done all of the hard work. Three kills in a matter of seconds, and now bombs have gone B. Well, I think that'll be it for all of Meister. Three versus one, not gonna fancy this at all. Finds the AK-47, the money is broken. If he misses a couple, could be in trouble. Well, never mind. He's bailed him out. Good stuff from Rain there. He's detected Amanek normally on the end of the fishing rod for G2. Good flash from Nika, but it has to hit at least one of these, I would say. If the bomb goes down cleanly, could be in trouble. And his first shot will miss. Five on three, but C4 goes down no problem. Rain just waiting for his teammates to come up towards shore before he commits. If Hunter gets a double, we were on. But as Olaf found, finds next, or it puts it all onto Kenny S. This will not go anywhere. <laughs> Brokey hits the shot. He was exposed on the edge of the smoke, and we have a 9-6 half. So, smoke CT and drop a player. The fact he's seen nothing, but what a shot from Nexa to start off the proceeding. He actually opts for the HE, oh, and he wow. dunks him. He finishes off Rain. Hunter's caught another, and this is G2's pistol, unless Nico wants to go off on another wild goose chase. He does tap away at Hunter relentlessly. He's already got three. This would be an ace clutch in the pistol. He's been on fire. Jax tried to fake it with the movement and he actually hits it last bullet. He has to be clean, spots Kenny, looking for the ace clutch. There should be no way Kenny oh. will save the day. But Nico, he's got them all <laughs> a little hot under the collar after that. Not in great form in this tournament and uh, we'll see Rain helping himself towards long. It's looking quite good, but takes a lot of damage on Rue here. Jax has taken down, Olaf Meister strikes the Desert Eagle. A lot of action here towards long. They line up for Nico, but he can't confirm. Oh, it's chaos in long. Good position, to be honest with you. MP9, good for at least one kill. Oh, maybe not as he's been baited out now. There's the first. Can't get that second. Significant damage towards Cold Zera, but still a two on two for now. Minute remaining. And they smoke the doors. Kenny S announces his presence. Oh, great shot. Amanek was on the flank. And now, wow, well, Kenny's dropped in. That is something, but Cold, he is not going to give him the time of day. Oh, God, he doesn't miss. Amanek's gone down short first time he peeks. Olaf could get caught, and he does, and Kenny's got them both. G2 will take the ninth hit, and he'll recover the AWP in the meantime. Oh, they haven't started defusing yet? Yeah, they're fine. Should be fine? Should be They've fine. They've probably got the tunes yeah, on. And Kenny picked up a defuse kit as well in transition, so... What looked... Oh. Wait, Ooh. they haven't won it. <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Kenny picked up a kit. I, I was like, I, when I saw the money, I was like, <laughs> oh, God, not like that. It, doesn't, oh, it, look, it doesn't look like they have it. G2 and bombs. It's not, like, hey, hey, babe. Hunter on the flank. the flank. Oh, no. Nico's going to be furious. Hunter gets another. He'll be happy with that one. Doesn't opt for the rifle. Instead, he continues to try and be a thorn in their side, but they're accelerating B. He can actually find Rain no problem here. He's towards a long corner right now. He'll start walking up. Kenny's going to check this guaranteed kill. The B side's open, so not all is lost. They've still got smoke not. and Molotov. Broke, I mean, Brokey and Cold Zera genuinely have a shot at this, but it is going to require everything to work perfectly. Brokey needs this. He doesn't get it. Nexa it's all over. has found the necessary frag, and now Cold's got four players hunting him down. He'll just get overwhelmed. It's Amanek to find it with a 5-7. <laughs> the cuisine gossip. Oh, what's just happened there? Oh, look at that! Two orpers pull the trigger and three bodies hit the deck. <laughs> Jesus. This is a lock. Look at this. They're surrounded. Completely yeah. surrounded already. Hunter's got his nades lined up. Olaf is ahead of them, but next he's happily collecting. Oh, this is a such a perfect lockout. Kenny started. Hunter and Nexa finish. Well, a good point. It's going to be five players towards B from phase. 
Swinging for the fences here. AKs are out. Next, uh, Poise as he gets the first. He's bought some time for Kenny. It's coming through the window, but he can't convert the shots. Absolute pandemonium ensuing once again. And it is the B-side under Fade's remit here. Are they going for it? Apparently so for 3.5 seconds. They just need that sound cue to come through. There it is. That should be the flashbang now. Jax will throw it. In we go. Oh, and through the flames and the bullets and the flash, Olof still pulls the trigger onto Amanek. That finds his second. The noise. Yeah, and it's a good call, a good little change up there. It's something that was very popular, uh, actually, in the Katowice Major of 2019. There are a lot of teams who are capitalizing on B defenders who are solo. They throw the Molotov and they go, well, we can put this out. No money, and map point found a phase on G2's pick. Rain trying to help himself towards the smoke. Flashbangs, decent. Will it creep by this angle? Apparently so. Rain opens things up. Nika get the second, but Kenny is still here and alive and kicking. He surely goes down, and it's going to be a headshot from Nico towards Cold Zera, but still a one versus one. God. Oh, it's still alive, Nico. I thought he'd gone down. Yeah. So good to go. He hit the shot in the end, but at the cost of Kenny doing great damage, he hit another shot before going down. Next up being held by Olof, and God, it got close. Had he found that, he's on for the 1v1. A well-placed frag from Kenny could get the proceedings started. Hunter's pushing, pushing short as well. He will be found by Rain. So into B is the plan. Three CTs there to receive them. This could go horribly wrong. Backs are turned and it just takes two. Jax has got him as well. And it's falling apart, dissolving for FaZe Clan. He can clutch it. Brokey has to. He does find Nexa. One remains. The flash trajectory does give him a good understanding as to where Jax is coming from. Is this enough though? Brokey gets the bomb down. Jax towards the window. One bullet to the head would do it. One versus three. No problem for the rookie there. And FaZe will be taking the pick of G2. This is a very peculiar mini-map right now. Look at the stack. Or oh, the flash Molov could be an FFA. It's going to be a battle. Here we go. A skirmish in CT spawn. They scarp up five of them. And Brokey's not interested. He tries to back out. And with the frag from Olof, they can reposition. They know where everyone's coming from. Olof's trying to turn tail. He does get away at 16 HP. Next has got the kit. Keep that in mind. Time's ticking. First on the bomb. He's very low. Cold Sarah needs to knock him off it. Next is still defusing. And he gets knocked off. It's all on to Amanek. He's fluffed now, and they're just going to spray him in relentless bullets. Cold Zera has saved FaZe Clan from a perfect defuse on G2. The only potential is Cold Zera, and they're clearly ready for it. They're throwing smokes at him. They know what's coming, and Jax has found the first. Olof in the site, he can't really work out where all the resistance is supposed to be, but the reality is there's still four CTs ready and waiting on A, and look at the stack. It's working wonders. Nice handling by Olof. Yeah, it looks like there's not going to be enough time, though. 35 seconds, overwhelmed. They had no idea. And that's a very clean round for G2. FaZe, once again, dropping to the pistols, only finding one single frag. Primarily from short. Next up, good utility to slow him down, and he does win his first duel. Amanek wasn't checked by Olof, and so the frags. Oh, neat and tidy from Nexa. He's got three in the round, just using that Galil. Almost looks like an AK in his hands there. And we don't have the double off for now. Amanek will be happy to stay on the MAC-10, it seems. Oh, great shot, Brokey. He shuts down Kenny S in an AWP versus AWP battle. But this time, there will be more resistance than they previously encountered. Spots him and executes one. Hunter survives just by the skin of his teeth. He's down to 19. He'll get away for now. But the bomb and the players are going to an open B site. They're going wild. Straight in. Meant that he was having no success or that G2 were doing a very good job of dealing with the way that he liked to approach. And a great nade. I don't Huge know where that nade. came from, but Nico and Rain have both lost half of their health before they even commit to this site. And Jax has always got a friend. He's got Nexa right behind him and it's gonna be a successful trade. Numbers favor face though, and what a there shot. Is. There's Reigns first. First kill, and it's a hell of a shot to boot. We are gonna have four players surviving for face. Amanek is taking that away. But it's a high-risk maneuver. It's a very high-risk maneuver. He'll peek in a second. There's the shot. The exchange blows, but nothing lands. But it's all about baiting in next to him. Beautiful job. Cold Zero doesn't even anticipate it. Oh, the flash. Look at Nico full blind. He's got a spare AK now. Bomb delivered. Round one. Nexus just holding the map bay. And the flashes oh. keep coming. This flash time, himself. a team flash. Brokey. He has hit some incredible clutches over the course of his time on Road to Rio, but he's been dealt a pretty dud hand here. One versus four. If the money's not horrible for FaZe here, but Brokey, if he could get a couple of kills, that would have been great. Getting into that round was almost impossible. You could... 
Here we go towards B, then all five players. Amanek to be tested once again, but they're much further ahead this time. Nico so blind, so damaged, but in he goes. He has got the advantage here. The first call will be his. It's close, but next up, he'll find two. The MP9 doing a lot of damage here, but there is the equalizing trade. Three versus three, no smoke down towards the kitchen, but I'm sure they're going to change that up very shortly indeed. The incendiary down towards the bomb site. Just to let... Delaying that plan if possible, and this is the big shot now. Brokey hits this. They really are onto something, but Hunter, fantastic work with the AK. Oh, man, Hunter. Down to the timing here. Yeah. So one smoke. It's enough. And their two backs are turned. Cold can get both of them, but just as he arrives, oh. he loses his teammate. Great spray. One more to find. It's Hunter on short. And he could find the shot, he finds the fight, but it's Kunta. He wins two crucial duels throughout that round. One onto Brokey. In the kitchen. Nice deep smoke. They'll have to go out the window. <laughs> Fortunately, Hunter has already managed to do just that. Yeah, I think he thought he might get a one way from that or something, but ultimately he's denied access now towards the kitchen. It will be Hunter taking the first bullet. Olaf Meister takes him after planting that bomb. Next up, uh, we we'll a chance now with the M4A4. Encroaches towards the bomb site here, but Nico surely has his number been spotted. And now the C teams will have a very oh, difficult okay. task. But there's a team kill. Almost yeah. a double. Nearly got them both. Nico did the work for him. Now taking a jewel he didn't need to. There isn't much time. It should still be a phase round, but they take two more on the way out. And we'll save up Kenny's AWP. Phase taking it on B. The only person you trust. That's how it works, and look, I do trust these SMGs. Ooh, okay. Reigns actually dealt with the Palace push in a very quick matter of seconds. Oh, I feel like Hunter is actually saying yeah. today here, what's he up to? Brokey, he's sending it. The MP7 could be good for another. Nico gets tagged in the process, but it is going to be a three versus two. I don't think that bomb goes down. He's going to swing. He should do. Amanek will have a chance to deny this, and there it is. Another scrappy round against the pistols here. FaZe Clan not checking their corners, and the full defuse is coming through here. And Olaf, he goes down. Nice and shot. It's Faceland just uh, getting the first two kills, not checking their corners. Assuming that the no... Oh, he does his due diligence and clears the corner. But pulling the pin, Hunter, they travel in pairs. Oh, it's looking so good for Hunter. Really carrying the team wow. on the safe side of the map. And there's another ding towards Nico as well. Three on three, but next up, he's got a guaranteed frag here. And that's going to be advantage G2 once again, looking for their ninth round. Got another Molotov on the CT side as well. Flashbang will catch Cole. He'll have to turn around. And they know exactly where he is. He has no chance of winning this now. Oh, great okay. shot towards Kenny. If he gets another one tap, could be onto something. Flashbang will come out. He knows he's a challenge. Can't even go for it now. Oh. They can defuse the bomb. He can't do anything. I mean, there will be enough time. He'll be able to shoot, but he has to hope next to doesn't hit his shots. Avoids the flash, but Amanex holding it. And yeah, that's nine. G2 will take it. Great shot from Cole. And, uh... Yeah, often overlooked. Oh, he's going through. Nice idea. Had to take a risk. And he's the only player in towards B. You'd say this one's done. It's round 15. Five versus three. No roll damage inflicted. Oh. Exit removed. That's going to be it. Looks set for a 9 6. Olaf's going to be pushing perfectly into Hunter. Jumping out the window, though, and met by Olaf all the same. Looking set for the six. Just Jax. He's coming in from A. He, they know he's the A player. And with five players still standing for FaZe Clan, they Best can start their celebrations. Breaking. They'll start their team talk. We're going into the defense, boys. 9-6, we can work with that. Use kit, three towards A. Make it four, the player in CT spawn as well. And it's going to be the A spread coming forward. Next, they're whipping things out. That's called zero removed. But Brokey looks incredibly strong there with the USP. Manages to get three okay, beautiful Brokey. headshots. Is he got a fourth available? Apparently not, but that should be the round. Three on one, Hunter. Nice shot. That's on the window. And now he's in the two versus one. Well, this pistol round's a great demonstration of what the players in the server are capable of. Just crosshairs on heads, as the pistol round can and should be. Ooh. Spots rain. Will, if he gets this kill cleanly, he could have a chance, and he has. Shuts down Nico, and he's gotten away. Bomb on his back. Rain's getting a bit nervous now. Hunter just needs oh. the one. Oh. God, it was close. It ends with rain. It's going to be that close duel. Hoping Jax is looking towards the bench position. <gasps> but Cold Zera's caught out. There's two there. Knife out for Jax, but it doesn't matter. He doesn't even catch him. It's double kill straight into B. The flash, it fades. Brokey will catch Kenny as his vision's restored, but he loses his life. Amanek hunts him down. Looks great for G2. Yeah. yeah. Gonna have to save these weapons, but it looks at things. Rain won't oh. even get the choice. Hunter is looking deadly out there. Just Nico remaining now. The money is terrible for FaZe after giving those two kills to the Tech 9. But you can see how quickly they're able to cascade on towards that B bomb site. And that's going to be Nico going down to Hunter there.
Towards the action, in fact. There's a lot of it, and they aren't expecting Cold. He's trying to get around the corner. He will get hunted down. We've got a 4v4. Certainly do. Olaf Meister just at the far so gets a ding towards Kenny, but it's still not going to be enough here. Oh, wow. That's a great kill. Could be on wow. for a second as well. Four versus two. Amanek and Nexa. AK-47 and the Tech-9, but the first will be found by the pistol. Bomb to go down here. This is looking pretty good. We are going to see a decoy and an HG available. But he's checking and he's caught oh, a very clean shot. He's looking good for Nico as well. Next up, he doesn't want to quit. Brokey's already retreating, and G2 have really con continued to confuse things. Ramp, he's just calling the bluff of Amanek, and it works out. Brokey, he's taking risks, and it pays off again. Two more into the site now, Amanek. If they can get this bomb down, but the casualties keep coming. Nico's caught Kenny. And Amanek continuing to twist the knife. He will not quit. The spray is ridiculous. He spots one. His teammates will tell him, surely. He spots... He didn't. He didn't see him. Olofmeister was there on his peripheral vision, but Olofmeister will be able to collect. This time position towards B. He's looking towards the apartments. First kill for Kenny S. Doesn't even need the orb. Gets that rifle working out. Certainly not for Brokey. That could be the round already. Yeah, certainly looks that way. Uncharacteristic miss. And now already the hunt is on. Look at Kenny, he's so pushed up. Oh, spots the foot of Nico and tries to draw him into his arena and still hits the shot. Kenny looking sharp for his 11th frag. MP9 for Rain, but uh, Olaf Meister looking away for a second. Does it just in time. MP9 will yield a kill here. And a set of goals to be fair, but Hunter, well, he'll shut everything down. 14 to 10. Phase have presented into this one. Yeah, <clears throat> almost no chance now, especially after those first two kills. It's going to be Jax finding both the Desert Eagles there. Hunter collects the USP of Rain, and that's a five on two, a very quick round here. This phase. Uh, well, this is not the last round. The next round will be the last round, but I think that will be the last round. I think that it'll be done and dusted. I don't really see much fight left in Oof. phase on this one. They don't have enough utility. They don't get the. Uh... Hold. Has found a safe haven in dark. Uh, no, he's stuck, and he's so slow. He's just down to 15. He will eventually be met by Kenny's bullet and G2 are into the site and they're already finding the frags. Brokey trying to save them, but Kenny's had a mad one. Three on that default box. Pressure from Nexa as well. All onto Olof. That angle, God, it's high. Just a headshot. Nexa will collect it. We're off to nuke, folks. G2. Molotov on hut. Olof's going for it. Nexus Bam will find nothing, but that wasn't the bomb. Worth noting, they've got a player down. He's making noise, but they're still keeping the bomb in their player's top side. They plan to hit, and a great shot while blind. Amanek finds the first. G2 certainly up for this one. The first two kills will be theirs, and there's no way this bomb is going to get planted now. Three versus one. Nico will need a very quick kill here. Nexus needs to stay alive. His teammates are rotating in from lobby. Kenny S, though, just making sure he stays alive here. Shoots a hole in the door. Nico has been spotted. 50 seconds remaining here. Needs the least to get a headshot, but being overwhelmed, his days are certainly numbered. It's a very big pistol for G2. Three players survive. He'll be towards the hut, and next, so we said he's good in this spot, and this could be a prime time to swing. That's the bomb, and he's locked it down. Yeah, it's perfect. Advantage G2. Molly, 10 seconds, and the frags, they'll just do their natural resting place. We do see an upgrade as well. Going to be two AKs recovered. Looks like just the one, actually, Hunter. Outside smoke's deployed once again. This time Hunter looking to get up close and personal. Can he find that 5 0 scoreline? He has been detected by Nico, but a quick trade will be found. That's going to be a kill for the likes of FaZe. Down to a 3 on 3. And Jax, he completely dismantles Whoa. their approach here. Bomb goes down towards the hut. Amanek with a great position here as they have to peel off. Oh, I don't think they know how many is in this smoke right here. Amanek, you wouldn't be getting this up close and personal if you knew the situation on the other side. And that's why Brokey was in the far corner. He's actually jumped away. Suddenly a 2v2 feeling very winnable. Absolutely. And he could go down towards the vent here. And they're oh, trying oh, to... Kenny broke it for him with the orb. <laughs> did he really? No <laughs> joke. I think he did. That's insane. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Olaf goes down. Broke. He's got to find the bomb. It's down on the site. There's a full minute to play with here. And Jax has got the information. Fake. And frag. Perfect, Perfect play from Brokey. Another clutch added to the list precise Frenchman, but it doesn't look like he's being pretty damn thorough and a trade. Both bullets find the head. AK just a little better off and no way. Kenny didn't even hit that shot. It was so close to the toes. Rain finds it now and five versus three. Brokey will go down. Needs another, but 
Rain's too quick now. That was their only chance there. It was worth going for one next out of control of the window run, but he needed two kills. Old fashioned scenario. There's the bomb. It's loose for now and by the yard position. Good catch. Kenny needs to get the hell out of there and his utility is designed to try and get out of dodge. He spots broke, he could get two here. Missing his shots, Jax doesn't. 5v3. Yeah, looking much better for G2 now. This is a weak fight for them. They've got no grenades, but they certainly got plenty of bullets remaining. Jax will do significant damage towards Gold Zera. Hunter, Penultima kill is his, and now just the aforementioned Brazilian wasting towards main entrance, and nothing he can do. Hunter will find him, 5-3. Going straight in towards top side, or at least trying to make it look like that's a possibility. Instead, bouncing straight past Jax, all three of them. Uh -oh. Uh oh, contacting the smoke. There was going to be a trade quick, and now he does manage to find one. Next, they're onto another. If they can get this bomb down, a 3v4 ain't so bad, but Nex is still there. He anticipates all off, the nade looks very promising. And a decent crossfire as well. This is a very important frag. Brody will deploy the flashbang to try and set up Cold Zera. It's actually worked out for a couple of kills here. Amanek trying to pull one back, but he's running out of time here. The bomb is more than half gone. It's down to just Olaf Meister. He's got the MAC-10. Can he deny oh. the defuse here? It's a 10-second one. It'll have to be the Glock. It doesn't look good. Does he find it? I'm not sure. This stage, he's going to be the MAC-10 with five bullets oh. remaining. He wins by the fact they don't have a defuse key. He didn't necessarily deny it, but it works <laughs> out for him. All right now, they put the brakes on, four versus three. Yeah, and they come out to Amanek and nobody's home. He's repositioned nicely and wow, great shot from Nico. Perhaps FaZe can still contribute in this one. Smoke, it will fade and reveal Kenny's position, but a second does take its place. And Jax, he tried to flank from heaven. Now the bomb can go down, Kenny and Nexa. They don't have much at all. An incendiary, a flashbang, an AWP on this retake. A kit for Nexa and a kill from Kenny S might give them a window opportunity here. The AWP still towards main entrance makes things very difficult. Nexa with no real utility apart from that flashbang. That's a great oh shot. God. Nico is stud. He's had 14 HP for all of those kills. Yep, absolutely. And now still a chance for Nexa. They're so low. He just needs one more. Trying to find the timing. And Nico does it all with the low HP. And they've got that first kill and found the AK-47 here. Can they get the second? Apparently not. Rain will discover a few of them towards Secret. Nice Molotov on both sides of the equation. They'll actually get the kill here. I didn't oh. think they stood a chance. And Olaf Meister, he'll be found in the back. This round is falling on its ass for FaZe here. It's FaZe's kryptonite, isn't it? Losing to the pistols. Yeah, they do it so often. It's happened again. You can see that they're just kind of always treating it like it is a gun round. And against the pistols is when we see a lot more risk. So G2, they're looking good to win this. They certainly are, but the bomb's down for phase, and this is the retake, and well, they win their duels. Nexa and Jax. Oh, a very narrow angle, but it works for Kenny and Nexa as they take those duels outside, and oh, wow. That's the frag they were looking for. Another crossfire established and paying off for G2. They can't get too ahead of themselves here, though. There's a lot of territory that's been taken for Rain, and he can hit some big shots. So there's one. We're in a two-on-three situation now. Very winnable. I think so. Chad, you might be onto something here. Rain will get yet another frag. He does get dinked in the process, down to nine. Certainly doesn't help their efforts, but he is alive for now. Kenny S pushing it towards a trophy room. He's got the AK and doesn't show any signs of slowing down. Bomb available for FaZe, and now apparently a kill as well. Kenny S found alone. Wow, two versus four, and it looks completely and totally under control. So Olaf's gone and got the bomb in the meantime as his teammate does fall. He's got an incendiary where that came from as well. He's heard him go towards heaven. He can even smoke that. It's an incendiary. Does it go down the ladder? Oh, no, it's beautiful. And he's burning down to 11. One more bullet is all Olaf he's needs. And Amanek so loud throughout all of this. Olaf's ears <laughs> saving the day, and Amanek's had enough. <laughs> Tries Respect. to deny it. Respect to Amanek as he plummets. His teammates. And now Jax has to worry about both of those angles. Now avenues of assault trade from Rain again. Kenny's holding the perfect line, but now with the smoke deployed, oh, he's going to have such a narrow window if he wants to hit that shot. Are they thinking about going back towards upper? They don't have control of the back walls right now, and they've lost Rain. Influential in their success so far. Two kills in this round, and Hunter with a perfect backside. Oh, That's nice a kill. Him. Hunter. Oh! <laughs> that would have been a good call, but not meant to be. It concludes all the same. It's eight to seven. Towards main entrance. Got Brokey defending with the USP. Spots a couple, and they're going to commit down towards lower. Nico didn't see it coming. Nice spot, but detected by Jax. 
The CTs have already rated, rotated two down lower with that casualty on Nico. So Brokey's got a lot to deal with here. Contreras has found a frag elsewhere. This kill for Brokey doesn't work out. Kenny using that Glock to great oh. effect. And damn, G2 looking poised to collect the ninth. Yeah, there's no way that FaZe Clan can get back into this one. The kid in the smoke, well, that's an option. But Olaf, only four kills to his name. And, well... Some of those came in that 1v1 uh, one he had with Amanek. Kenny grabs another. It's just rain now, 2 HP. He doesn't even have a hope or a prayer in this round. The multi-kills are uh, pretty close. 13 to G2, 11 for FaZe Clan. Okay, Olaf, what have you got for us? Perfect angle, perfect frag. He's clean out as well. Drops the incendiary, picture perfect ramp for now. But Hunter has got other plans. He's making things awkward for them. Cold. Deals with the first. He can hear the steps as well. This pivot from ramp is very clear. Very, very telegraphed. Door open, nades out, and Nico can't believe his luck. He's got three. Just the first two frags for him. And now just jacks the remainder. He's not ready for cold. Perfect off angle. And that will be them have all of this. Brokey just holds them at the door, quite literally. But that shot. They now are vulnerable on the top site, and Hunter's going to try and exploit it. Nico finding Amanek, though. Oh, he's actually made it up towards the top of the ladder here. This first kill will be very important. Hunter, with all the power right now, he's opening up the door for his teammates. They'll come out a squeaky, and that's the first couple of frags. Wow. That should be the round. It still is a three-on-three. Three. Meister can deny this plan. That's the only chance they've got. after heavily commit to this, and he doesn't get it in time. It actually leads to his death, but still gets one. Nico dropped as well. Nexus doing such great work the last couple of maps here. Oh. Three more kills added into this round. That's actually four in total. Bring themselves back to life. A huge round. G2 sending it towards up, but the MAC-10 is closing oh. the gap right now, and he'll get the first. Is there a trade? Of course there is. Nexa on his heels, and we we'll see Broki. He might have to call it already. He's only got the orb Surely not. Right. They have to start fighting for some of these. Uh, I think they're giving it up. Whenever we cast phase losses, it's always those two quick frags, and then we sit there and watch Brokey plus two save. If Brokey saves this, are they going to let him do it? Are they going to chase it down? Are they going to Are they going to push? I think they're going to let him have it. Uh oh, oh, oh okay. Makes it. Where do they finish up? It's pretty nerve-wracking stuff, and that's the bomb. Could have been two. Jax hits the shot to keep G2 streams around here, but they won't have time to check Cold Zera. And now dropping into the low site. Perhaps there's something to be said here. Amanek's gone down, but so has Hunter. Bomb. Quite literally, he plans to plant. Bomb will join. And now a two versus one. If he can find Olaf cleanly, he's trying to close the gap and he's going to get caught on the left peak. Now retreating. Where is the other one? Closing down the gap. It will be Olaf and Cold. Did he plant back Bomb? He certainly did. And Cold can no hold kit. it here, but no kit. Hunter can start to approach him. Oh my god, not a 10 second ninja. Hunter might call it clear. He's gonna check it. A one versus two. A Damn. two versus four. Tech nine into the round. They're doing a fast. They're doing a top hit. This is this could be a problem. It could. Nico doesn't seem to think so. Where did their health just go? The spray, the nades, it's all perfect. Brokey must have got some high HE damage. He gets an assist. They're well aware that this is the lower bomb site progression. Nico gets one and this is it. Great one shot from Brokey, actually kills Hunter. Damn. And now Brokey's going to do all of the good work. Double kill, his Molotov got the third. And the round's over. Next are on top side. Maybe can find Cold Zera, but it's not going to happen. Definitely not. Trying to help inside, but there's two on that red container. He's just completely neglected it. And from behind, they will strike. Reigns lingering in that smoke. He's pushed aggressive. Oh, and Nex has caught another one. Phase, they're running out of players. Thankfully, the Norwegians clawed one back. And we've got three down towards lower here. G2 have done a great job. Kenny has to defend the vents. They've got a safe plan, protected from ramp, and that's the only position of attack uh -oh. that Olaf can find. There's only three more to find for G2. Hunter will go about finding the first. Brokey closing the gap. It's the final frag. He does survive. And he is quite the clutch master, but I think this one's way too tall of an order. Kenny spots him, misses the shot. G2 are off to the finals. It's Astralis G2 phase.